Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part 8 of Tableau interview question series. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. Our first question is, what is the difference between date part and date name function? Date part is used to return date part of date as an integer. Here, date part refers to our years, quarters, month, weekdays, etc. etc. Okay, and date name returns the date part as an integer. Date part can be faster because it is a numerical operation, and date name is slower as compared to date part because it is string operation. Okay, our next question is limitations of LOD. We know we use LOD for complex calculation, but sometimes we forgot to check out its limitations. So these are the limitation of LOD. First one is we can't use table calculation within LOD. Table calculation are running total, percentage difference, percent of total, etc. and etc. Okay. Second one is we can't apply LOD for blended data source. Let's check out this point in our tab view. For this, I have taken two data source. This is my primary data source and second one is my secondary data source okay let's go and create a calculated field and let me call our fixed lod then i'm calling reason from this and for our primary data source i will call sales okay and now you can see we are still getting error like argument to sum is already aggregate and cannot be further aggregated okay when we remove it you can see we are still getting all the fields in a level of details must come from the same data source okay that's why we can't use lod for blended data source third one is lod expression gives unreliable views when floating values are involved okay and fourth one is sometimes lod slow down the performance as we know we use LOD for complex queries, but by using LOD, sometimes it will slow down the performance of a dashboard as well. Okay. Let's move to our next question. Write calculation to find YTD and MTD when max date is not two days date. Okay. YTD and MTD stands for YTD is year to date and MTD is month to date. Okay. So this is the calculation for YTD and this is for MTD. Okay. Let's create YTD and MTD in the tab view as well. Okay, let's go and create calculated field. And first one I'm giving YTD. Now let's write our calculation. If year of order date is equal to year of max of order date and order date is less than equal to max of order date then it will give us sum of sales and end our calculation okay now we are getting error because we can't mix aggregate and non-aggregate values okay so to match this let's apply curly brackets here as well now you can see our calculation is valid this is basically is we are applying LOD functions here and if you click on OK and create a calculated field and to find out the max value by using fixed LOD and then max of order date and close our brackets. So basically both these are same thing. Okay. Instead of creating this function, we just apply the curly brackets here so that we can aggregate both the values. Okay and click on ok and same thing we can go and duplicate it add it and apply mtd ok and here we will add one more condition that month of order date is equal to paste it here and then we will add our then we will add our expression that is month and close our brackets okay this is first we are checking year condition then month condition and then checking the date should be less than max of order date okay and then it will get a sales for mtd okay now let's go and check the sales for now let's go to segment 
drag our ytd sales and mtd sales okay these are our mtd sales and these are ytd sales to verify this let's go drag order date and drag port 23 and drag port sales okay and drag segment as well if you check we are getting same values here as well okay this is how you can verify if our calculation is correct or not okay now let's verify mtd and drag our order date again and select the month that is december and click on okay for the consumer segment we have 50k and same thing here as well okay this is how you can verify your calculation are valid or not okay and this is how you can use ytd and mtd when max date is not today's date okay our next question is what is the difference between dot tds and dot tdsx extension in tableau dot tds stand for tableau data source and dot tdsx stand for tableau packaged data source dot tds contains all the information you need to connect to the data source it also contains calculated field set groups bins default properties like number format aggregation and sort order and dot tdsx contains all the information of dot tds file as well as any local file of data or extract we can use dot tds file if everyone has access to a database defined in the connection information and we can use dot tdsx file format when we want to share the data to the people who don't have access to the database that is defined in our connection information okay let's move to our next question that is how to create donut chart and when to use donut chart and pie chart okay first let's go and create our donut chart we can use simple method we can just create two dummy fields and change their chart to pie and go with dual axis okay and go with entire view let's hide their headers okay we don't want this and change its color to white let's go to the size and increase the size of it okay now let's adjust the size of it okay and let's say i want to add segment into the color and sales and add segment into label as well and if we want to show our total sales then we can just go to our second pie chart and add here okay this is how you can create donut chart now when to use donut chart or pie chart first one is the number of categories you are comparing if you have more than four or five categories then go with pie chart if you have two to four categories then go with donut chart okay if you have any extra point to convey let's say we are showing total number of sales as well for this type of things we can go with donut chart okay let's move to our next question that is which one you prefer tiled or floating layout tiled or floating layout is basically here when you drag the sheet if you are using tile it will automatically adjust the size based on the number of the sheets that you are using okay okay and floating is when you click on floating you can define the size and the position of the sheets okay floating is better because we can define size and the position of the worksheet in the dashboard and with the floating we can overlap the worksheet as well okay let's say we are having this sheet and we want to overlap this sheet on this here as well so we can overlap the sheet here okay this is how you can use tile versus floating and tell what is the difference between both and which one is better okay our next question is which function returns current date and current date and time so this is very simple question but sometimes you get confused which function will return date and which function will return current date and time okay so today function will return current date and now function will return current date and time okay that's all for this video thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos